Hi Thumos and welcome back. Listen, I'm 21 years old and I'm broke as hell. I need to eat. I'm getting hungry. I got to maintain some gains. Rants do, but I don't know what to do. I had this idea. I could be a bartender. I go on Craigslist. I look at different job listings. I see one in my local area, kind of a dingy bar. Not too bad, but kind of, you know, one of those corner bars. Little asterisk on the bottom says, experience required. I don't have experience. I am like, damn it, dude, damn it. But you know what? I do have grit. I got determination. So I make up my mind. I waltz right in there on a Monday at around lunch. I'm walking in and I see this big Italian meatball of a man at the end of the bar. I approach him. Here I come. I say, is the manager here? He says, I am the manager. What can I do for you? I say, I saw your ad on Craigslist about needing a bartender. And I would like to bartend for you guys. He said, well, do you have experience? I said, no, I don't. But I'm willing to learn. I learn very quickly and I'm good with people. I was like, he's like, I don't know about that, man. Like, I, I really want someone with experience. We get busy on the weekends. I said, listen, I understand. Just give me a chance. Let me, let me work for two weeks. Give me a chance and I'll prove to you that I can do this. He thinks about it for a little bit and this is exactly what he says to me. He says, all right, I'm going to give you a shot. I'm going to give you a chance. When can you start? Friday. I leave that place. Ah! Hell yeah, dude. I had, I had reached my hand like this downward and I had scooped my freaking nuts. And I was terrified because... I've never done this, and I've never been in a position like this. I'm working a graveyard shift at night. And I had just waltzed right up in there, no experience, not knowing how it's going to go, but with determination, and I got that mother, that I got that freaking job, dude. And what I learned is that a lot of older guys I've noticed it's endearing when a young man shows a little bit of freaking willingness to work and to try. I'll tell you guys, there's a lot of men out there that own businesses that that need help, you know, like in installing cabinets or renovations, uh, you know, doing anything you think of, landscaping, they need help. But there's not a lot of young men that show willingness. There's also guys in top companies that will give you opportunities, but no one asks. That's a huge thing. If you just ask, just asking will take you very far in life. So if you just ask people, they will give you better services. They'll give you services you never heard of or you didn't anticipate. They will uh, give you discounts and opportunities if you just freaking ask. It's one of the best things you can do is become someone that puts himself in the face when they're, you, you could fail, you scoop the nuts and you go for it anyway. So I get to work on Friday and listen, listen, I've never had to deal with this many people. It is busy. There's someone else there, but listen, I'm learning how to freaking make drinks, pour cocktails, pour a beer the correct way. I'm waiting tables. I'm frying up chicken wings, you know, helping the cook in the back because it's so freaking busy. And there's, there's a group of bachelorettes, a group of these girls waiting on their drinks. There's the town drunks that are waiting for their Bud Light. I'm thirsty, you know. And I'm, I'm like this, bing, 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 bing. I'm dry scooping C4 into my mouth in the back, just getting amped up. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. This is the perfect freaking job for me at this time of my life. And I'm so grateful that I, I did that, the scoop the nuts philosophy. I went in there. I didn't just sit on my hind, you know, my behind and accept my fate. No, I said, I'm going to, I got to fucking do something, dude. I'm going to make it happen. The scoop the nuts philosophy cannot be understated. It should be a motto in every man's young life. Sometimes you got to throw yourself in there. And I'm working. This job put me in front of people. It taught me to listen. It taught me to, to I almost became a psychologist to a lot of these people. There are also a lot of freaking pretty girls, dude. A lot of pretty girls at a bar. And uh, man, what an experience. What an experience. Put some money in my pocket. I had so many late nights going out with the boss. The boss, you know, kind of welcomes me into his little friend circle, his friends. There's girls there going out late. We're freaking at a diner at 4 a.m. I'm eating this freaking big platter of six eggs and pancakes and hash browns. 
just feeling alive, feeling alive. And it showed me a different part of life and it prepared me for things to come. But I would have never had those, those experiences if I didn't at first scoop the nuts, scoop the freaking nuts, show some willingness in your life. It'll absolutely change things. It's one of the, the things that I try to urge the guys in the height the most brotherhood. And we all push on each other, scoop the freaking nuts, dude. Go out there, shake it up, shake the world up, make things happen. All right? That's it, man. Keep it eye to most, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.